Let's continue our education on the topic of digestive tract. Today's topic is how our body stops the production of hydrochloric acid. You already learned from previous lectures that the moment you see, smell the food, central nervous system through the parasympathetic nervous system will send the signal to the stomach and tell the stomach start to produce mucus. G cells will be activated. They will start to produce gastrin. Gastrin will activate parietal cells. It will produce hydrochloric acid and hydrochloric acid will activate pepsinogen into active form pepsin. Now, food is digested in the stomach and it's moving out of the stomach into small intestine. Here in the small intestine, we have numerous mechanisms that will send the signal back. Food arrived into small intestine and we don't need to produce any more hydrochloric acid. And it's done through intestinal gastrin. It will go back to the stomach and it will say, stop produce gastrin. Neural inhibition, when the food arrives in the small intestine, it also creates osmotic pressure there and activates neural reflexes. Number three, small intestine will produce secretin that will inhibit gastric acid secretion, means production of hydrochloric acid will be blocked. Four, enterogastric reflux, reflux means that the reflux will go from small intestine back into the stomach and will say, stop to produce hydrochloric acid. And finally, central nervous system get involved. About that, I already talked in the previous lecture. The name was the lecture, gastrointestinal control. Oh, this is a slide um, that I'm available to be a health coach. Now guys, let's go into a uh, drawing board and I will explain you what actually happened. Food get digested and then it's before it moves, into small intestine, the pillars get to be open. You must create the condition to open the pillars. Otherwise, food is not going to move into small intestine. And if it's not in small intestine, then you don't send the feedback, stop produce hydrochloric acid. Here, I already pre-draw our digestive tract. This is the mouth with the teeth. Food will go in here. When they see and smell the food, you activate parasympathetic system, which will runs alone. Oops, blue. Um, runs along the digestive tract and will activate all the digestive tract in the stomach. It will activate production of gastrin, which will activate production hydrochloric acid, HCl, number two. So gastrin stimulates production of hydrochloric acid. And number three, hydrochloric acid activates uh, pepsinogen into pepsin. Hydrochloric acid gets produced till the moment pH, very acidic of two is created in the stomach. At the same time, parasympathetic system stimulate other parts of the digestive tract, including small intestine. And in the small intestine, juices from the liver get drained here, and juices from the pancreas, P states of pancreatic enzymes are uh, also here. And those juices have a different pH, pH of seven between stomach and small intestine, we have a pillarus. You will be pumping hydrochloric acid until pH2 is reached here. And you will be pumping juices till pH7 reach here. Concentration gradient is a signal for the pillarus that small intestine is ready to accept the food that already have been digested here in the stomach by gastrin, by hydrochloric acid, and by pepsin. That pH difference will open the pillars and the food will start move here. Once the food is there, then the small intestine starts to send all those signals back into stomach that we just talked with you about. Um, uh, gastro, uh, excuse me, enterogastric reflex, uh, secretion of 
small intestine gastrin so you will start to inhibit gastrin you will start to inhibit production of hydrochloric acid and obviously production of pepsin in the stomach will be inhibited one more item i did not say previously um, in uh, in the powerpoint is that when the food started to arrive here and in the small intestine that's the place when the food start to get absorbed and it's absorbed through the digestive tract into your bloodstream. This is the bloodstream. And here is the food, digested food floating right here. Concentration of the sugar goes high in the bloodstream. And that blood with the sugar flows right into your brain. And the brain sends that sugar as high. High sugar is the signal for the brain. Don't want to eat anymore. So that's the moment when you say to, to, um, to, your, to the food, I don't want to eat anymore. And you stop putting the food into your mouth. So no food coming into your mouth, no food coming into the stomach, and there is uh, no production also of gastrin and hydrochloric acid here in the stomach. Guys, I hope that I made it very clear to you that the body has a numerous mechanisms to control the production of hydrochloric acid. Your job is to understand clearly. You need to create right environment in the stomach and right environment in the small intestine. And I mean pH 2 and pH 7 in the small intestine. So you can open pillars and the food will move down and send the feedback. Stop produce hydrochloric acid. That's it that you need to know. And you need to create this environment. If you don't, food will be staying here in the stomach. And eventually, after two hours, there is no other place to go for that. Loisophageal sphincter get open and the food will go right into your esophagus, creating acid reflex. Thank you very much, guys. I hope it's clear for you. It's clear to me, but please ask me questions. If it's not clear, ask me them right here. And I will create other videos to make sure that you understand everything. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe. Bye-bye for now.